Zip and Zack have been watching Earth for a while, but they've only seen it from outer space. It's quite far from their planet, Sunray. Earth seems like a special place. The weather changes from day to day, and the seasons change every few months. Zip and Zack want to fix the grey, soggy weather on the Sunray. If only the sun could rise every day like it does on Earth, they could watch the golden sky in the morning and the red sunset in the evening. I must talk to someone on Earth. Maybe this will help us improve the weather on Sunray, Zip mutters. Without saying bye to Zack, Zip quickly wriggles into his spaceship and launches himself at super speed towards planet Earth. Zee hums Zip's spaceship as it shoots through space. Shh, it drones, lowering itself down to the ground on Earth. What was that? wonders Luna as she sits up in bed. She looks outside her bedroom window and spots a bright green light coming from the botanical gardens. It's very early in the morning, so it's still dark outside. Luna decides to investigate. She puts on some warm clothes and runs to the gardens. Her eyes widen and she stops in her tracks. A cute little alien wanders towards her. I am Zip from the planet Sunray, buzzes the little alien. I would like to talk to you about the weather and seasons. Sure, Luna smiles. Would you like to come to my house for a while? She asks. Yes. I also want to see how humans live. Luna and Zip walk back to Luna's house. When they enter Luna's room, Zip rushes to her globe of the Earth. This is your planet. This is what it looks like from space, yells Zip excitedly. Shh, Zip, my family are asleep, whispers Luna. And yes, that is my planet. Why do you ask? Sorry, apologises Zip. You see, my people have watched your planet from space for many years, he whispers. We think that your sun rises and sets every day because the Earth spins around and around. Do you know about this? Zip continues. 